Stephen A, I know you had them all along to win it all, but you were also high on Philly. Do you think the Cavs should now be the favorites in the East with how LeBron's playing? Uh, uh, <laughs> I needed to see what was happening. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, A lot I'm of gonna. groaning over there. Uh, 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 Max Kellerman. Uh, uh, yeah. Molly. What? Get to it. I, 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 uh, Come on, I need to I'm know. I'm pulling a max. I'm pull. I'm pulling a max here. I'm pulling a max here. I'm allowed one of these. You're allowing year. evidence I'm to a change your mind. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, ladies and gentlemen. I have an announcement to make. What? I have an announcement to make. I am no longer on this bandwagon that the Cleveland Cavaliers, meaning LeBron James, will get to the NBA Finals. What? Why? Ladies and gentlemen. I made a mistake last week when I said that the Philadelphia 76ers are going to the conference finals. I was wrong. I'm picking the Philadelphia 76ers to go all the way to the finals. I am of the belief that the Philadelphia 76ers are the team to be and they are going to the finals. Let me tell you something right now and I'm going to tell you why. Okay. First of all, Rich Paul, I know he's out there watching and listening. He because he's Ben Simmons' agent too. R ben Simmons is not the rookie of the year. I still say that. It is still Donovan Mitchell Clearly to me. This this is the postseason, though. Let me say this. Ben Simmons is a superstar in the making. This brother is the truth and a half. And we call Paul Pierce the truth. He's a truth and a half. And oh, by the way. When he gets a jump shot, he will be LeBron James part duh. Okay, that's number one. Number two, Joel Embiid, awful 2 for 11 performance, turning the ball over, all of this other stuff. Don't mean a damn thing to me. Both of them are playing above their age, above their pay grade. But this is the biggest reason, this two-headed monster that I'm about to mention is the biggest reason I am officially picking the Philadelphia 76ers to go to the NBA Finals, and it is this. If you take J.J. Redick off the court, and I'm not saying you want to, especially when he shoots 90% from the three throw line and the brother can hit threes from all over the place. I'm not saying you want to do that. But when he's off the floor, everybody they put on the floor is 6'6 six, six and above. Everybody. That's number one. And number two, not only do they shoot, but they defend. These brothers get up in you. They defend the basketball. And when I look at Toronto and your struggles hitting perimeter shots, and I look at Cleveland being a one-man wrecking crew, but I still expect them to beat Indiana. When I look at the Boston Celtics, Milwaukee can't really shoot. The Greek freak in Middleton are those dudes. Everybody else is suspect, and Boston doesn't have Kyrie or Gordon Haywood. I look at the Washington Wizards, who can beat Toronto, even though I got them losing at seven. To, uh, uh, listen, when you look at these dudes, the Sixers defend, they have size. I believe that the Sixers are going to knock off LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers in the Eastern Conference Finals. They will go and, oh, by the way, as an aside, mm -hmm. um, Allen Iverson will probably be on the show tomorrow. I just wanted to let y'all know. The brother told me he's coming on. I hope that he keeps his word. Let's go. Is he going to get up that early is the question. That, well, Stephen he a. told me he is, Max. He told me he is, and I that's my so. brother. I hope, so. I hope he, you know, he comes. Alan Iverson is probably up. coming in the house um, tomorrow. I'm just saying. I'm just saying.